Hello everybody, John here with Shooting Tips and Tricks and today we're going to be making a replacement barrel nut for an AR-10. Now, existing one I have here, a few of the holes on it stripped out so we're just going to be tossing this one and making a replacement. And while we're at it we're going to make a few upgrades like better tolerances and we're going to be making it out of stainless steel instead of the aluminum like the ones that come with it. Now we have our piece of stainless here set up and we already have it cut to the appropriate diameter and actually increase the diameter by five thousandths for a closer fit and I center drilled the end of it for a pilot hole and we have our large drill bit here that we're going to bore out the inside and then we're going to open it up to the minimum diameter of the barrel nut which is this end here and then after that we're going to cut the other side which is here to the diameter of the top of the threads and then we're going to thread it and we'll move on to the mill to cut the rest all right well, let's get to it Alright, now our goal diameter for the inside is 1.2 inch and right now we are looking at about 1.165 or I take that back 5.5 five. get this in there right yep 1.55 so we have about 45 thousands left to take off of this Alright, now that we've got the minimum diameter cut for the inside, we can go in and cut the larger portion, which is going to be the threaded section of the barrel nut. And that's going to be 0.750 deep, or 3 quarters of an inch, and it's going to be 1.395 for the diameter. Well, we got that portion cut out and we even got a small relief cut in the back so that we have a stopping point for our threads. Now we can change our cutter and start cutting the threads. Alright, we've got the threads cut to roughly the right depth. We'll check and see what the action will thread on. Uh-huh. 
It wants to go, but it's really tight. So we're gonna have to open it up a bit more. Oh, that's much better. Now we can take the part off of here and move it over to the mill and do the finish work. All right, we got the part set up in the mill here and we turned our rotary chuck onto the horizontal axis to cut the rest of it. Now what we're going to be doing is we have the barrel nut here. We're going to start out by cutting the channels along here for the gas tube to pass by. And then after that we'll drill and tap all these little holes and then finally we'll cut our slots for the barrel wrench. Alright, well we got our slots cut for the gas tube to pass by, we got our holes drilled and tapped, and we got our slots cut for the barrel wrench to go on. I think all that's left now is we'll go back over to the lathe, we can part this piece off of the stock, and then we'll do our final little trim and cut to length so it matches just right with the handguard.
Alright, well there it is. All finished and ready to go. All done inside and out, chamfered, cut the threads to the appropriate length as well as the front. I did make a couple of changes to this one as opposed to the factory one. You can see it's a little bit longer. I actually sized this one according to the relief on the handguard here to maximize that full space. And then the thickness on the front here is a little bit more because the outer diameter is about five thousandths more to get a nice snug fit with the handguard. And then I reduce the inside diameter about fifteen thousandths to match closer with the barrel and give us more threads to tighten the screws down with. And then I widened these notches here a slight bit so we have more coverage with a wrench so we can get it good and tight. Now we'll take our upper receiver, our barrel, snap them together. You can see hand tight, it almost butts right up to the face of the receiver there because I actually sized the threads on the barrel nut to match the threads on the receiver plus the the relief on the barrel or the little locking section so that and it's probably set the barrel nut about 10 to 15 thousandths under so that by the time we tighten it it should butt pretty close up to the face of the receiver to give us a maximum amount of contact there and now all that's left is to tighten up the barrel nut to index it with the hand guard and the gas tube and then we can mount our hand guard and it'll be ready to go alright well, I think that's about it for it that's about it for this video <laughs> As always, if you liked it, well, there's a button down there. If you didn't like it, well, there's a button down there. Anything you want to add, let me know in the comments. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. There's a tight one. Just the way I like it.